What's up Mortal Kombat dudes, Max here with an update on some stuff that's been going on. A lot of you guys that have been keeping up with Mortal Kombat might have noticed that there hasn't been a lot of updates and a lot of changes to MK over the past several months. Pretty much ever since the Predator update along with the Tremor update, many characters have remained the way they are for quite some time. And this is kind of a good thing because the EVO tournament season was happening and they didn't want to change anything too drastic because of the higher level of competition. However, they have made an announcement that on Monday, there is going to be a huge combat cast that's going to be talking about several changes from many characters. And as you guys have been maybe following some of these guys on Twitter, they've been teasing stuff like Reptile might do more damage when he's invisible. Takeda might have a bu bunch of changes as well. There's a whole bunch of changes coming out between characters like Ferator and Ermac, and the list just keeps going on. It looks like we're going to be getting a huge update to a ton of characters in Mortal Kombat X, which is going to dramatically change how we're gonna play the game which is a good thing because one of the problems with Mortal Kombat especially with modern day fighting games is that you need a consistent amount of updates to keep people interested in your title I want to make a video about this later in the future for the generalization of fighting games but it's very true for MK and a lot of people that were frequently playing Mortal Kombat have kind of dropped off the wayside I've still been playing it every single week and I'm having a lot of fun and I still do have a bunch of match videos for you guys to see with a variety of characters but at the same time I do feel like the game needs a little bit of a spice right now and that's kind of natural with fighting games it's not especially a bad thing it's gonna be interesting to see what they do to a lot of the cast members that might need a little bit of adjusting um, and I'm more thinking about buffs and not especially nerfs but we'll see I wouldn't be surprised if Predator gets hit pretty hard or Liu Kang gets hit very hard but we're gonna find out very soon and as soon as it happens I'll be back to let you guys know what is happening now the bigger piece of news that's also popping up alongside this which is very coincidental is the fact that a lot of folks have been waiting not for the next gen release of Mortal Kombat but for the previous gen on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 the problem is is that it was initially going to come out when the game was launched back in April and it's since been nearly five months since that's happened and there's no update as far as what happened with those versions of the game other than that they were working on them and just the other day we found out holy crap they were completely cancelled Mortal Kombat X is a next generation only title and I'm pretty sure the only question that pops into all your minds is what the hell happened? Between the PC version being an absolute disaster at Mortal Kombat X's launch and now still being kind of a subpar version in comparison to the other consoles with really weird net play from what I understand. I, I tried to play this version several times and it just has not worked out for me with my video and graphics card. I don't get it. I, it works great with every other game. This seems to be a very prevalent problem with everyone else and is still a problem to this day. So it really looks like WB games in general are the ones suffering from this problem, especially with the release of the latest Batman game and that port being done extremely fast with very little QA at all, which this is all kind of tying into Mortal Kombat X on PC. It feels the same, and now it's the exact same thing for the previous console ports. I'm fairly sure that whoever they got to actually port the game back to the previous systems, whether it was high voltage or whoever, that it was an unworthy port completely. Probably the graphics weren't up to the standards that they were hoping, and it just never was actually functional. Mostly due to that you have to also consider things like net play and matchmaking and all this other stuff and at this point after so many months of them actually working on it and announcing that they're still working on it they're still doing it they're still doing it and then finally way too late it's announced its cancellation so I'm really sorry for you guys that were actually waiting for this game on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 it's sadly never happening MKX is strictly an Xbox one PS4 and PC title but let's be real here you really should be getting this game on Xbox one or PlayStation 4 now this is a lot of really bad news that's popped up for MKX especially for these other versions I only hope that on Monday we get a big tease if not a lot of information about the future of MKX and kind of where the game is going because because I don't very much like the previous model of the games that came out in the past with Injustice and Mortal Kombat 9 where they release like you know a DLC pack here a couple of characters there and then the game is essentially kind of dropped completely after six months after the game is released MK9 was a bit different because DLC came a bit later Injustice is a better example I prefer MKX to be treated as a platform because as much as the net play is a very 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 rough thing to deal with I still do heavily enjoy the game, I like playing a lot of its characters, and I want it to be a game that consistently stays around for a long time, and they need to support it. It sold a freaking truckload of units and is potentially the most successful Mortal Kombat of all time, 
please keep it that way. Give us updates, update the characters, give us new costumes, give us new characters, add the freaking cyborgs in there, and I think a lot of people would be happy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and let me know if you were still waiting for the PlayStation 360 version of MKX. I'm really sorry to spread this bad news, but I know a lot of you guys get your fighting game information from this channel, so I hope I'll have something better for you on Monday. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time. Predator win.